Hey, look at that. We're in Kenya with a Mara River monster. And uh, welcome to the Maasai Mara. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I have my good friend Dangerous Dave on camera and we're sitting on the edge of the Mara River. And you can see it's quite a dangerous spot if we were wandering around or paddling in the shadows. Oh, look at that one gulping there. What's it doing? I think it's just got a piece of stick stuck in its mouth. Now, when you see crocodiles with their mouths open, lying on the side of the river like that, it is generally means they are trying to cool down. So, they open their mouth, they've got lots of blood vessels uh, on in, inside their mouth, and a nice gentle breeze will cool them down. But they, you can see there's quite a few of them. There's one, two, uh, three, four, five, out on the water on that side. And there's a couple more a bit closer to us that we can't see there, just below the bank. And there's some hippopotamuses as well. Hello, hippos in the river. And uh, there seems to be an, an, an uneasy truce between the hippos and, and crocodiles of the Mara River. Now, it's because it's such a unique thing that happens here, is that these crocodiles only really eat for a a couple of times a year when the great wildebeest migration arrives. Oh, look, that croc's on the move. It might come back into the water. Here we go. Or is it just swapping positions? No, just swapping positions. Hi, Carson. Carson is wondering, can a crocodile kill a lion? Most certainly it can. Uh, as a lion can kill a crocodile, but if a lion, and the lions do swim across this river regularly, uh, happen to do it in the wrong spot where there's a big croc around, uh, it can get them into very big trouble. And a crocodile is an opportunistic predator and will eat a lion just as quickly as it'll eat a wildebeest or an impala. Oh, another bit of movement. I think they're just scooching about to the left, Dobby. There's another croc moving scooching about maybe find looking for a, a different bit of sand that's a bit more comfortable dusty is wondering can a croc eat a turtle hole indeed they can dusty and i've actually seen them do it uh, and at juma where james jamie and tristan are i've seen crocodiles eat turtles uh, not big turtles, but still turtles nonetheless. But they are capable of cracking open a turtle's shell. Now, this is also not only a very good area for crocodiles, but also for lions. And I saw some lions very close to here this morning. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find them again for you. So, it is very exciting. They were probably about two miles from where we are now. I think we're going to leave the crocodiles and hippos to laze around on the bank and in the water. And then we're going to start moving off to see what else we can find. Now there are some other creatures around before we disappear. There's some topi on the opposite bank, which is a relative of the heart beast and one of the fastest, the fastest antelope in Africa, capable of running up to about 80 kilometers an hour. So... They're also sometimes called the policemen of the Maasai Mara. Now, you would think, why would you call an antelope a policeman? He's not going to stop anyone doing anything. Well, it's because they've got such good eyesight. Uh, they climb up on top of the, the termite mounds and they keep a really good lookout. So if a lion or a leopard or a cheetah even a hyena is up to no good looking to try catch one of them, the topi will start saying, I see you, I see you, and tells all the other animals that there's a predator about and that gives them a chance to escape. So all the animals don't like the topi too much because quite often he's too fast to catch and he spots them before all the other animals. But we're going to keep moving and while we do that, it sounds like Tristan's got something that there are not too many of here at the moment, but there'll be more than a million in a few short months.